today we are splitting text and we are not talking about the type of splitting that we have done in the past with gsap this time is actual splitting to columns as we scroll on the page this is pretty cool and will be included in something that i'm creating for you guys for next week it's going to be a one pager and this is going to be i would say like a full-on website um more or less that i think that i will make so that you can download maybe still something to think about because it's a big project but it's coming and that website will have all these very cool effects that we have created along our youtube journey with gsap on this channel so without further ado let's get into it all right so first of all as usual i would say let's add our parent container and this is going to be full width let me pull this a little bit wider so you can see what i'm doing here I am a bit blinded by the sun outside my window. So um, let's say this is going to be 100 VH. We're not going to let's say it is going to be that. It needs to be that. Okay. And inside of this container, we're going to have three children containers. Okay. So I'm going to add my first container. Keep in mind that we are working with full containers only no box containers and if you know what why cool if you don't i'm gonna tell you now because these box containers actually are not one container they create an additional container so it's a parent child container if you're using a box uh, con with container so always keep that in mind because you're adding extra elements to your dome and that makes your website heavy all right moving on <laughs> All right, so this is going to um, have no height. We don't care about that. We are going to set the row horizontal direction and space between align item center because we're going to have three headings here in our case. Okay, so let me go to advanced. This is going to be or have this container is going to have a fixed position and in uh, and we're going to say vertical orientation to have to be 50 percent so it's in the center of the page we're going to give it em padding um this is just personal uh, choice here okay it, you can do whatever you feel like you can add no padding whatsoever and i am going to get give a css class to this as sticky bar okay i'm gonna publish it and gonna move on i might have to do some uh changes here but we will do that as we move along all right so in this container we are going to be adding three more containers i know it sounds excessive but it's not necessarily it should be fine so i'm gonna name this john and basically it's the name of the company yeah that we are uh, going to be building the website for so i'm going to set this to have an html tag of p a paragraph yes i am going to go to advanced and add the class of item on it and what we are going to be doing we are going to be duplicating this okay so duplicate and duplicate all right so we have them in line here let me just go to the parent container let me see yes okay i did that <laughs> let me update this and let's just have a look okay so this is, it's looking funny we need to have this be centered so uh let's see what we did here okay so this is going to be where it was before this needs to be in the center All right, this is fine so far. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to change this and the content is going not to be drawn because it doesn't make sense to be drawn. Oops, it's going to be the ampersand. OK, I'm not going to change the colors. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to leave it like this for now because we need to move on and move fast on this. All right, so this first container is taken care of. And we need to add another container in the parent container, as I said earlier. So again, full width, 100 VH. And the class on this one is going to be 
hero. And I am going to go to style and add an image in here. And that is going to be this funky one, fancy pants. And set this to center and yeah, repeat, no repeat. And default size cover. Okay, let's have a look. So far, it looks like this. Okay. Okay. All right. So the next container in this container is going to be the actual container that is holding our logos. So I'm going to get the container here on the page, full width and set this to 100 VH, the usual publish. And I'm going to give a class of clients on this one. Clients publish again. I am not sure if I have set, no, I didn't, a set index on the sticky bar. So I'm going to say three on this one. Okay, now it's showing, yeah? It's before it wasn't. So you need to set a Z index on the sticky bar that basically contains the name of the website that you're building the website for. So now we have the option to add in this section where we are going to have the logos. We can add the actual image logos, yes, SVGs, whatever, or use the heading widget to create the, the logos but obviously everyone has logos from uh, companies that they would like to add so let's do that instead i think it's more realistic so what i'm gonna do do i'm going to add an other container in here yeah and of course this container will have a full width and we are going to be adding two images All right so let's add two images in here and this will be at the actual logos. So I have a bunch of logos here from a previous project. Cool. So I'm going to set the horizontal row horizontal. I'm going to have this justify content center, center everything and here as well. But let's go to our logos and give them with, I'm going to say 25 on this side and oops, 25 here. I'm going to give it a height of no not vh percentage 50 uh, let's set it to cover or or contain whatever you feel like and yeah and of course we are going to set this oops go to style set this alignment to the right so we have the logos next to each other Okay, so what I'm going to do, oops, I'm going to copy the style of this and paste it right here. Okay, that was a mistake, obviously, uh, because we need to change the direction. So this is left. Okay, so I think I'm going to add another logo in here because we need to have something different. All right. Uh, okay, let's publish and let's have a quick look. Okay, it's there. Mm, okay, we'll see how it looks as we continue building this. We might have to change things around, but that's cool for now. Let me see. I'm going to duplicate this because I'm not going to recreate it. Okay, but imagine that this has different logos and if i have a little bit more time i will replace this so they actually have uh, more impact why is this not in line anyway uh so i'm gonna add a bunch here because the effect looks really good with a lot of them yeah so let's add another yeah i think this should be fine let's see how it looks on the front end yeah, okay so they are in the center all right let's publish and for now i will leave the background the way it is we don't want it different but what we want is to add a footer to this and some more content to the page so let's go to add uh, another container here at the bottom and i'm gonna give this container a big height so we have plenty of scroll pay, uh, page space let's say 300 vh okay i'm gonna publish and i'm gonna go to the theme builder and i'm going to add my footer right now because this is needed because we have to add something on it split text crawl okay so this will actually 
help with the scroll trigger this is part of it if you don't add this to the footer uh it's not gonna work so keep that in mind all right let's refresh this the footer should be there if it's not no problem okay it's here so let's go to the footer and i have already a class or i should have a class on it yeah it's called trigger footer you have to add this in the in your footer otherwise it's not going to work as i said okay please do that and if you're going to change as i said many times before make sure that you change that class there as well all right i'm not going to repeat myself let's go back now <laughs> It's the time to add our HTML uh, widget and bring in the code. And I'm going to drop it in here. Something to, to be mentioned, and unfortunately it is what it is. If you don't want to use this effect, then I understand. It doesn't work properly with the with Lenis. So as you know, Lenis is a library that helps with a smooth scrolling of the page while it interacts with the scroll trigger from gstep in this case and i have tried my best to make it work but it seems like it's not yet maybe in the future i'm gonna figure out but until then it is what it is all right so let's see if this is working oops it's not and i think i know what i did wrong here i did not give this uh logos classes we need to have classes on them otherwise how would the code know? So I'm going to paste on all this, the classes, and I will come back to you. And also, <laughs> sorry for rushing on this. You have to add also a class of row on the container that is holding this logo images. Okay. I'm going to do that and I'll come back. All right, so let's see if it's working. All right, so scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Actually, we should have this in the center, but it's not really, so the effect should start here. I will figure out why this is happening, but this is pretty cool, right? So we're scrolling, we're still scrolling. Imagine this is a different kind of content that you have on the page. You could also have less content. Let's see what happens. I'm going to give this section a uh, color so we can kind of see that there's something else there. Okay, so I am going to give this um, a normal height of, let's say, 100. Yeah, because we usually have sections of 100 VH. So let's scroll. And scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. So the effect still works pretty good. Uh, this uh, kind of like starts going faster but other than that i think it's still fine all right so what we need to do actually it's basically to give each container or image uh the a custom width of 50 percent. so it's so it makes them both sit in the middle because each is equal parts of the width of the screen so 50 percent and 50 percent which makes sense i would say so yeah, imagine I did that and everything works perfectly. Okay, I'm going to do it and I'm going to come back in AB. All right, so let's have another preview. Okay, so we are scrolling, we are scrolling and we are right in the meeting, parting the Red Sea of logos. Ah, That's very satisfying. Very, very freaking satisfying. So there you go. Okay, let me just give this a different color so we have something nice there yellow oh yeah all right so i'm gonna leave it like yellow who cares let's just have another preview okay parting 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 okay very nice very nice very nice very nice very nice very nice and yes of course this would be either a little bit uh higher or if you want to leave it like this it's still very cool, but I would say make sure that the logo, the footer doesn't go over the text or the text doesn't have uh, an overlap at the bottom. And this basically just sits on black, um, on the black background. 
anyway nevertheless i think this is very cool and um we will have this probably included in the website that i was talking about at the beginning of this video for next week which will be all gsap effects in one place very exciting so this was i wanted to show you kind of a preview and also to give you something to do if you want to do this on uh, your spare time <laughs> experiment with this a little bit anyway i hope you like it the code will be in the description as always and yeah if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time